Hi, this is Ashlyn with Bellevue Avenue. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to apply the Dreamy Bubble Overlays. So the first thing you're going to do is open the picture that you'd like to apply the overlays to. Then you will go to File, Place, and navigate to the Bubble Overlays folders. And I'm going to be working with the small bubbles, which are in Dreamy Bubble Overlays folder number three. And I'm going to choose small number three and click place. Now click the check mark to place the image and change the blend mode to screen. So I really like how it looks here. I'm going to brush off some of the bubbles that are covering his face. So to do that, I'm going to add a layer mask. And to add a layer mask, you go down to the add layer mask icon and click it. And here's your layer mask. Then I'm going to choose a soft black brush. Make sure it's nice and soft. And I'm going to change the opacity to 100. I'm going to brush off the bubbles that are around his face. I think I like it right about there. Okay, so I really like how the bubbles are all around him and actually I'm going to get rid of that one. Yeah, that one. And we're gonna add a single bubble right here. So now I'm going to go to File, Place, and navigate back to the main folders. And in folder number one, you're gonna find the single bubbles and there's five of these that you can place anywhere on your image. And I'm gonna choose number two, click place, click the check mark to place it. Then you will change the blend mode to screen. And then I'm gonna resize it. So control T and size it down and move it over. Right about there, click the check mark. And that's just about where I want it. So that is how you apply the Dreamy Bubble overlays. You have plenty to choose from. We have tons of small bubbles, we have large bubbles, and we have the single bubbles. We also have blurry bubbles. Let me show you quickly how to work with those. We included the blurry background bubbles to help you incorporate into pictures where you had a shallow depth of field just so that it looked real. So let's see, we'll just choose one of these. Place, check, change the blend mode to screen. I'm gonna brush off some of that from his face. but now it looks like there's bubbles in the background. So it gives it more of a natural looking effect with the depth of field being so shallow. So here's the before and after of the blurry bubble backgrounds. And then the full before and after. So that is how you apply the Dreamy Bubble Overlays. Thanks so much for joining me in this tutorial. If you'd like to stay tuned for more tutorials, subscribe to our channel and make sure to follow us on Facebook and Google+. Thanks again and we'll see you soon.